Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again with another video and today we have another unboxing. Just arrived in our studio is the Chewy HiBook 10.1 inch 2-in-1 tablet. It will compete with a Teclast T10. Let's find out if it's the king of the 2-in-1s. Let's find out what's inside the box. Got my knife. Let's find out what's inside this box. Well, as you know, we unboxed the Teclast T-Book 10 the other day. It's a 10.1 inch tablet from China, from Teclast, and this is its competitor. This is the Chewy HiBook. It's a 10.1 inch with a 1080p display. It's got a keyboard dock as well, which we have here. The HiBook is a Chinese tablet that we got from banggood.com. Here's the keyboard dock. Let's put this to the side. We'll unbox that in a moment and take off this packaging. So as you know, Banggood doesn't give you the original box to save on shipping costs. So they put it in a styrofoam packaging and here it is. So what you get is some documentation. Let's put that to the side for a moment. Here's the high book. And it's very similar in feel and look as the Teclast T-Book 10. It's, this is a 1080p display. It's 1920 by 1200, so it has the same resolution. It has an IPS display, according to this. It's got the Intel Cherry Trail X5-8300 variant, as we've been seeing out of these Chinese tablets time and time again. And as you know, I'm a big fan of the Chewy HI-12. It's Bigger Brother, which has the Retina screen. This has a same aluminum type back feel and look so so far so good pretty sturdy looking and so forth let's take a look at some of the ports here's your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack your hdmi port which is a micro hdmi here's your microphone where your input will go your micro usb looks like 2.1 or 2.0 your usb type c this will charge via usb type c and this is your micro SD card slot. And here's your side firing speaker right there. One of your two side firing speakers. On the top of the device, you have a power button and a volume rocker up and down. There's your, on the other side, there's your speaker. And on the bottom is your keyboard connector where the keyboard dock will slot in. On the front, you have a I believe this is a two megapixel front facing webcam and on the back I believe this is a five megapixel rear facing camera. So that's it for the ports on this. So far feeling pretty good. Let's see what else you get in the box. Let's take a look at the charger real quick. It probably is a standard fare that we've been seeing out of these Chinese tablets although this one uses a USB type C to charge if I'm correct. Let's make sure that is the case. And yes, it is a USB type C. So that should be interesting. And let's see what else. Looks like they gave me the European plug, but not a big deal. I have adapters that will work with this. Five volts, three amps. So a little bit better than the original stuff we've been seeing out of China. This is more of what we've been seeing lately. So that's the charger. Again, typical stuff we've been seeing. This one looks like it's in Chinese. Again, not much use to me. Put that to the side. Here's the keyboard. I'm interested in this one. I like the way the Chewy HI-12's keyboard looked. This should be a, a smaller version of that. Again, this is a 10.1 inch device as opposed to a 12 inch device that you would get in the Chewy HI-12. There it is. And I can tell you right away, this keyboard dock is premium feeling. Good click on the trackpad. Key travel seems decent, solid construction, good touch. You have a USB 2.0 and another USB 2.0. So give you an additional two USB slots. Really nice, nice to see. And as you can see with the keyboard, looking pretty good. It's not a backlit keyboard. I, I wish some of these Chinese manufacturers will start to include backlit keyboards. I think eventually we'll start seeing that. Bottom is like a matte finish. Let's see how this looks with the chewy and it's stock so we're gonna have to slot it in like this so it goes into the things into the slots and there you have it opens up like that 
So there it is. So it doesn't go back very far. That's about as far back as it goes. You can also put it in tablet mode. And by the way, this is again a dual boot tablet. It runs both Windows 10 and Android 5.1. Pretty snug in there, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It does really have a good strong magnet on there. Let's take off the screen protector or the plastic. And we have a choice of Android, Windows. I don't know which one I just chose, so we'll find out once this is fully booted up. Now, until it's fully booted up, let's see how it looks in tablet mode. I think we can do it like this. Slots back like that. And there you have tablet mode, tent mode, like that. It's tent mode, what I like to call media mode, like this. Watch a movie, so forth. Pretty good. Now, the screen is not laminated. I can tell you that right away. It has a slight gap. Not as bad as the T-Book 10. This actually has a less of a gap on it. So we boot it into Android. But the screen looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. So here it is, fully booted up. So about tablet. And it tells us that it's running Android 5.1 as we normally see in these dual boot tablets. We will do a full review of this. We will run it both Windows and Android. This is in Android right now, but we will come back with a full review. Windows side, Android side, we will compare this to the TechLast T-Book 10, its competitor. We will see how these fare. They both have the same processor. This has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. We will check all that out, all the specs and everything. The good news is, that Banggood is running a sale right now. This is normally $199. They are running a sale until June 20th that will cost $169. So that's a good deal, ladies and gentlemen. Keyboard dock costs around $42. Shipped all the way from China. Took a less than two weeks. Not too bad. And again, this is a good time to buy it right now because it's on sale. I'm liking it very much. I'm really impressed with the quality of the screen. And I'm looking really impressed with this keyboard dock. I like these stylings on the side these like chamfered edges on it as you can see here really classy looking nice price excellent value you got a nice two-in-one nice light package solid construction this is aluminum the bottom of this plastic on the keyboard but this is solid aluminum on there so far so good so stay tuned, we will have the full review of the Chewy iBook along with its keyboard dock. We will put it through its full paces as we normally do here at AMD Tech. We'll test the screen, we'll test performance, battery life, sound, and everything else associated with this device and its keyboard dock. So stay tuned for that full review coming very soon. We will also do a showdown with the TechLast T-Book 10, its 10.1 inch Chinese competitor. Let's see which one is the king of the 10 inch 2-in-1s that are coming out of China. I'm interested to see which will be the winner. So until then, this is Andrew. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video. Please hit the comment section in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's anything else you would like me to review. I will try to make that happen if possible. So until then, this is Andrew. See ya. <laughs>